He was Britain's hottest mixed martial arts fighter. It was the greatest cash heist in history. Forget the great train robbery, forget the Northern Bank in Belfast. Britain's biggest ever robbery took place in the early hours of this morning. British police have launched a massive search for the men behind one of An armed gang made off with perhaps as much as $90 million. $90 million, all of it in cash. Then held staff hostage before loading up a lorry with cages and even shopping trolleys full of banknotes. Now at age 30, Lightning Lee Murray is suspected of being the brains behind one of the world's most brazen crimes. Mark Epstein was a leader of the gang that Murray joined as a young street hood. Later, Murray became one of the gang's leaders. Lee was one of the one of the the younger lot, you know, the youngers we call them. He was a feared guy, you know. He's not someone you take lightly at all. I mean, he, there was plenty of gunplay and you know, drugs and stuff. I'm Lee Murray from London, England. I'm a valid judo fighter. I come here to fight today in the alternate bout. I don't know nothing about the guy that I'm fighting, so I just wait and see what happens. ducked out of the way through a five punch combo every punch connected perfectly bone on bone just you can hear him very solid shots tito went down we kicked him in the head twice even though it was argued by tito the world champ got throttled in an alley by, a, by an english english mma fighter and stardom was born
Lightning Murray had a fierce reputation as a cage fighter before a nightclub stabbing halted his career and almost ended his life. We pulled into a, a country lane and it was there that the, the driver said, well, you'll realise now that we're not police officers. Just do as you're told and you won't get hurt. I was blindfolded, my legs were tied together, I was still handcuffed. My wife came over to me and asked if I was okay. Okay, and that was it. Virtually, they, they took her away again and moved me back into the van. And I think the uh, the, the thing there was we're, we're proving to you that we've got your family, so just do as you're told. Pro Circuit TV shows the manager entering the warehouse grounds. He is trailed by a robber dressed as a police officer, wearing a fake mustache and beard to disguise his face. 60 seconds later, the manager and one robber are inside. After the night watchman is subdued, the airlock on the large steel door clicks open. Six thieves pour in. The gunmen backed their seven and a half ton truck up to the large loading bay. For the next hour, the robbers went backwards and forwards, filling their lorry with money. Using cages, holdalls, and even a shopping trolley. Seven and a half hours after the ordeal begins, the heavily armed gunmen make off with 53 million British pound notes, the equivalent of 92 million US dollars.